on the set of what is being depicted as the arena in the Hunger Games trilogy book series. Um, as you can see, right here is where they make the mad dash for the cornucopia in the opening scene of when the Hunger Games actually begin. So that the camera crew can be up here in what looks like a, like a little deck or something up in the tree. It's so the crew can film down onto the scenes that are like fight scenes or scenes that might look like um, that's where a capital camera is installed for the entertainment purposes of the game. Okay, so where I'm sitting right now and I'm going to show you, I call it Peter's Creek. It's the place where um, Katniss uses to walk through a lot of the book and walk back and ends up drying up and this is the part where it is dried up. But it's also really important because it's where she finds Peta covered in mud in the book. If you follow me this way... You can see up and down here um, is where the creek has dried up, obviously, for the scenes where it has dried up. Um, but this is also where she finds Peta covered in mud um, for the first time when they're reunited in the games again. Uh, what you see behind me are the um, stacks that Rue sets up to create the ruse and the smoke that allows the other tributes to leave the pond so that Katniss can blow up all of the food. Um, so those have already been a little bit burnt and smoked for the day for those scenes, but uh, again, a really important part of the movie because it ends up uh, being what gets Rue injured. Um, if you look up, there are a lot of trees, the trees that are really, really tall because this is where Katniss will strap herself up into the tree at night and why the other uh, tributes are not able to see her because it is so high up in the tree and it's also really close together so Rue can hop from tree to tree, which she's used to doing in her own district.